Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, Dark Difficulty, Chapter 1. This quest is called Indecent Proposal. This is the quest that you received. I believe it was right after you saved uh, Dandelion and Zoltan from being hanged. The quest involves meeting uh, Lorito at his mansion the when the sun see. goes down, which is actually here. fairly late in this it's world from what I remember. Dusk wait, wait. on that uh, meditation clock that is too. still fairly light out. Listen, friend. I'm an so and when I say just go with midnight. It doesn't really matter. On, You're not on a time limit. It's not like at sunrise you get kicked out or anything. These cunts, Lerido can protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He succeeds. So there's kind of actually a second quest Bastard's going on in this ballista. video. You know it's, the of this quest is uh, the ballista. It's arm strengthened with bronze uh, the whole point is that Lerido has a ballista kind of overlooking yeah, the main waterway through the city. And the whole idea is that Roach believes that when you try and leave, or if the reader ever just feels like it, he's just going to kind of let loose and essentially destroy whatever ship is going through the area. So your job is to really actually just take part of it away. No one will sail this section of the Pontar without Lorido's express permission. I don't actually remember what part you actually. What part you actually take out of that thing, but it's like the firing mechanism or something. Something not easily fixed. Or at least not easily fixed before you leave. Don't you so if you go here. up to the guard here, he's not gonna let you just ages. just kinda true. casually walk up and take apart that ballista in front of him. You need a f you need to find a way to um what do you let's need? say distract okay. him. So if you okay. talk to the well, lovely to woman handsome. here who will offer worry. various Women goods and services for, dams. say, money or other goods and services. Care for a romp? Can't just ah, who am I kidding? She's a whore. Later Let's face it. <laughs> What's your name? Margarita. Still. I um, wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. You get her to Somebody distract the guard to read him recently. and get him away from the ballista for you so you can sabotage it, basically. And here's one of the cool things do? about uh, The Witcher 2, at least, is that Just go with your specialty. there are multiple It'll ways to do Draw him away from a, the list of some of the quests. I'm not sure every Slap quest, but and call me stupid. some of them. Not, it's, it was, it's never anything that super specific How's that? or Search super important. Special requests. Those was, are the rules. Eh. Let me think it over. I'm not thinking too much on these. I need to think more. A favor for but if you saw the option that says I'm willing to pay, you, can, you can just go and, and you can just pay her whatever she wanted. I think it's two of I think it's under 100 orns. Like it might be 50 or something. And I'll even blow but I decide not to pay her. Uh, the whole idea is that no need to uh, if you chose the option that said a favor for a favor, she asks you to things. humiliate Myron and Alphonse, two of the guards that are at the party here, You've had your song. Care for some and to humiliate to humiliate them you have to beat them in an arm wrestling match what you want old man now unfortunately there's about six I'm npcs that look strength. just like arm them wrestling. so they're a little hard to find and especially since some of them will kind of just start will just wander off and go vomit in a corner basically so i guess that gets you bragging rights or go take a piss or something like old fella the gray wolf mm. all right let's mic pick that up that was me scratching my head actually but yeah, see, there's two guys that look very similar to the two people you're looking for. Actually, they look very similar to each other from what I can see. But uh, if I remember, I think this is Alphonse. Uh, Myron is actually somewhere completely different from me. But um, yeah, just go find them. If you if you hover the cursor over them, it'll say their name, or else it'll just say like rant. It'll just have like. Lorito's guard or something. Yes, yeah, so he's like over there vomiting. And I don't like oafish no necks. What do you want, mutant? And Geralt insults him to I'm enrage him and kind of make it easier to mutants. persuade him into a Save fight or an arm wrestling match at least. Let's do this. Nothing better than a fireside feast. 
these fights aren't very difficult, and when I was recording this, I realized that you got money for winning these fights. I didn't, I never knew that, because it never gave you the option to bet, so I didn't really know what was going on. Or maybe you didn't get any money. I got money from the last guy, I swear. Oh well. So either way, after after you humiliate my run now, Fonts, just go tell Teach just go tell the whore here. Of course. All right. I'm off to give the I refer to the character by name, but I don't remember what it is. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. Either way. So now you basically just have to wait for her to get the guard off of the platform. And once the um, the distraction is taking effect, you run up and basically just you, you loot the ballista. It's nothing more complicated than that at this point. I'm not sure if this quest has any uh, lasting importance on the story or if it or if it um, makes it more difficult for you to get away uh, to ch the area for chapter two. But I do know if you don't do this now, you fail the quest. So yeah, that was it. Easy quest. So yeah, uh, I don't believe Roach ever brings up the ballista thing again after he, after you start the quest. So after I did the ballista quest here, I follow Roach to the front door of Laredo's mansion. And they'll tell you to come back later because Sheila is visiting. Let's wait downstairs in the yard. And we're about to start another part of a quest soon. Which, um, just like the ballista, can only be done at this one point, and you only have one chance to do it if you yes. don't reload a save. Do we wait until the honorable lady uh, it involves some more stealth, and it's one of the last the stealth sections in the game. There's only, I don't know, two more. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Maybe Give him something three. To Why don't you find if out what they're guarding? You so decided to go down both. My paths? apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In Basically, this fact, merchant here is going to tell you that I have an there offer. is a. An offer. Interesting. Um, I suspect you did not come sorry. to Flotsam for pleasure alone. Give me a minute here. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? He saw uh, Laredo's guards take I expect someone will a part you to deal with it sooner or later. that's going to be used for a trap, Perhaps specifically for the K-Ran. Stop presuming, expecting, um, and concluding. Back in, Just tell me like, behind the garden, the area that you're sneaking into. Is in possession of part of a trap so if you can go there especially and the beast in get that piece of the trap, you can actually Around go build back. it. There's a storage I believe that the diagram the might also be in there, or Cedric has it. It's one of those two. There are heaps of things out there. But you only get this one chance to do this quest, and I actually do it. So. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden. Uh, this. Actually, I'm not sure this is even a quest, but. the wall, beyond which lies the. If I remember correctly, there's a steam. There's a steam achievement. Why? Tied we to using to the beast as soon as the Karen trap on the Karen. I'll distract the guard. You sneak and I the house. don't know if it's a 360 yeah. achievement. I don't have the Man, list pulled up. Finished. And the achievements in this game are kind place. of meaningless. You don't talk. Soldier, report to me immediately. But either way, uh, the Karen trap will make the Karen boss fight actually easier. So I suggest doing this anyways. But if you don't want to, then by all means, you don't have to. I'm not stopping you. So yeah, knock that first guard out. And this second guard, I've had him just turn around right there before. So maybe I made too much noise those times, but be careful. He can... Like, he can turn around and catch you. What happens if you get caught is that you immediately get sent to Laredo himself. And kind of scolded for sneaking around. And you don't really learn why Sheila was ever there. The whole idea is that you're sneaking back here to eavesdrop. Eaves. No, not eavesdrop. Eavesdrop on a conversation between uh, Sheila and Lorito. Uh, they talk about political matters that 
involve certain characters. I'm not going to say any more because, one, I don't remember the conversation, and two, I don't want to spoil anything. And uh, I used the cat potion here just to make it easier to see the guards. As well, it's pretty interesting seeing um, the characters through walls and through floors of the building. Like, I, I just think that's pretty cool. It's not the greatest effect when you're listening in on a conversation, but it's not bad. So yeah, this guard should be in the corner taking a piss, so he shouldn't be too hard to take out. Unless he, unless if you wait too long, he stops peeing. I don't know. AI and stealth sections are uh, pretty iffy. You never know what's gonna happen. So I think I'll wait here for a little longer than necessary. But this is pretty much the reason why I drank the cat potion, so that I can see him through objects and kind of see which way he's facing. At least kind of. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, there's not really a, a real cover system built into the game. Uh, it's just kind of an automatic thing that just kind of happens on its own, so sometimes it might not uh, kind of click in as soon as you want it to, but hopefully like you don't get caught. Uh, that figure right there inside was Lorito's mother, if you're wondering. I don't know, maybe you were. Just wondering who was in the mansion. Because it's Lorito, Sheila, and a couple of guards. I think Louis Merce might be there. Um, he's the one that tells you uh, where to go for the k -Rand contract. So yeah, by this point, uh, right now I've eliminated all the guards. There's no one left. So I loot this entire place. I believe I find some new armor in here as well. And I found the diagram for a robust Witcher's Silver Sword. Which is pretty useful. Uh, it's better than the standard Witcher's Silver Sword that I made for the quest a sword, with mon a sword for Monsters. I would not suggest going up that ladder as it will drop you back down into the main party area. But what you have to do is you go up the ladder here and you listen to Sheila's conversation and then you go back to Roach and then you actually meet Lorito. So I'm gonna stop here so you can listen in on the conversation and kinda of the story elements of what are happening. So You I'll forget you who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late.
little mermaid has found the treasure trove. Leaves upon leaves, a coconut on Coca leaf with you aboard. Haven't had this good a time in ages. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation, but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Travel, travel. Travel. Oh, you are fat, dirty, rotten scum. Travel, travel. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See? I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet has got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend? cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do? I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. 
Yorvit's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lurito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairin has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. But that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Kairin and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll talk to Zoltan. I trust you'll make the right decision. Farewell. Don't forget your blade. 